up, down, up, down, up, down. One, two, three, up. One, two, three, down. So we got that. We're going to make it. Yo, what's going on, everybody? It's Mr. African. It's live from Kenya, Nairobi. And I had somebody say, like, man, how do you invest in Kenya? How do you invest in Africa? So right now, what I'm going to do is actually show everybody right here, right now, how to invest in development projects. So these are real estate properties, but there are development properties. So what I tried to do was find off-site plans. That means imagine a piece of land doesn't have anything. So there's a developer and he comes to plan to build on that land. And when he builds on that land, he accumulates money in order to build on that land. So I'm just summarizing this. So when he's looking for money and funds to build on that land, he not only gets it from finances, banks, he also gets it from individual investors. So he puts together a presentation, a concept, a brochure, and he puts out the information, does all the planning, does all everything that's needed to be done, right? Everything's prepared, and then now it's open for purchase for investors. So this is how you buy into properties, whether they're apartments and houses and places across Africa and development pro pro projects without really having the capital all in front or getting finances through a bank and having to pay off principals and plus the bank interest and the bottom line and homeowner insurance and all these other things that come with it. So we're going to look at right now, you're going to see my screen that's open. This is one of the properties or one of the actual real estate seller agents and it's called Has Consult. It's over here in Nairobi, Kenya. And there's many developers throughout. This is not a specific developer, though they do take on the role as a developer sometimes. But they are the sales representatives for other developers. And here's their website. So we're going to scroll down. As you can see, we're scrolling down. And we have a Naki. We have different types of properties. So let's go down to the, let's actually click on this tab called Developments. We're going to go in here and we want to see the developments that they have and that they list that, and I'm excuse me if my internet's kind of slow, that are around the price range that we want to find somebody at, at entry level. So 50, 58 mil, that's around $580,000. $500, this is $95,000. This Riverside Square, that's the starting price, right? It's a mixed use. So it's residential. The tower right here is residential, and then that's going to be commercial. So let's go to something that I'll I put my money in, but let's go down. And I want to go to a price that seems reasonable, right? For our newcomers, that's a reasonable price. So let's go Fuma Town Development. Let's go read more. So it's at 1.9 mil. That's the starting price. So that's twenty thousand dollars, right? So we're looking at it. We're saying, oh, that looks nice. Like we're looking at this one bedroom apartment that's supposed to be in a Fuma Town, which is in Zanzibar. You see it right here, right? So. 1.9 million shillings, which is $20,000. It's really 19, give or take, depending on the fluctuation. So here goes the about part of the Fuma Town development, right? Here's the residents, what they plan to actually have on the development project. So studio one to two bedrooms, and that's apartments. So two to six bedroom townhouses and seafront townhouses and apartments the investor's potential, and it's actually going to give you a summary. The population in this region is growing currently by over 6%. This creates a huge demand on quality housing and rental units. So we're expecting a ROI return on investment around 8 to 10% for rental market prices. So this is on a beautiful location. It's connected not far from the international airport, and it's a upcoming area that's generating high appreciation of capital that means your property value is going to go up location here we go bam fuma town service center and it's next to a mosque as you can see but let's zoom out in this map let's see what we got here right so darcy alam that's salam assalamu alaikum that's where it's at right there so you can see it in tanzania and this is the information that we're getting so it's in Zanzibar right here. Tanzania is here. Zanzibar is here. So as you can see, 
that's where it's at. It's going to be on the west side of the island. So, all right, we got where it is. Here you go. You can download the master plan, the pricing intel, and then here we go. We got all the prices, reserva reservation form, and etc. So, let's go in here and click on this brochure, right? And bear with me. Sometimes this takes a while to open. So, you let, let's let's zoom in. You start to see right here. Here are payment plans. Now, let me show you. Bing, bing, payment plans. So payment plans are how you're going to make payments on this property. See, I'm, when I'm saying 20000 I'm not saying 20000 up front. Okay? Now, look at the screen and see where we're going with this. 2000 and this is for the reservation fee. So that means I'm going to go in and I'm going to choose a property. Let's say that we're starting with, bam, floor zero. That means ground zero, right? The ground floor is at $19,900, right? So that's how much it costs. So our reservation fee would be $2,000. Now we take $15,000. That's for penthouse reservation fee, refundable for two weeks. So that's if you're getting a penthouse. So disregard that because we're not getting a penthouse, right? What we're getting is a studio apartment on ground zero, right? So here we go. 20% plus 5%. So what is that? We're signing PSA, right? The sales agreement and 5% facilitation fee. So we're gonna pay 20% to 25%, 5% for the facilitation fee and 20%. So what's 20% of $20,000? Once you do that calculation, and let me go ahead and get my calculator on so people aren't out here judging me when I get it incorrect. So we got 20 grand right here, right? 20%, 20% is 4,000. I just brought up the calculator so you could see me do the numbers, right? So you got that 4000 That's all you have to save. Like, let's say I save up $4,000, right? So let me get this one bedroom apartment in Zanzibar, all right? In Fumatown. All right. With, and so let's go to the next phase. I made the 20 plus the 5%. So there we go. Now we move to the next 20, right? With construction, begin. Estimated time, 2019. So we're going to put, once the construction period starts, that's another 20%, right? Six months after the beginning of construction, so six months later, this is going to be at, you know, the end of 2019, but six months later, another 20%, right? Then 12 months after the beginning of construction, so that's 12 months after that, right? So you got six months, then you start to move towards 12 months, another 20%. And then the last 20% is at, with the handover, deducted by the reservation fee, that reservation fee that you paid, the $2,000, that, re, 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 you know, get that reduced. So that 20% take off $2,000, right? Because that's for the reservation fee that you paid at the beginning. And then your project is completed. Your apartment is built by 2020. And this is where they're going to start doing transfer title and putting the title in your name. Now... The property is yours after that. And that's all for $20,000, somewhere in the time frame around 12 months to 24 months because these projects are very long. So, I mean, this rolled out in 2018, so that would have been two years. Two years, you have to pay off $20,000 to get yourself a one-bedroom apartment in Zanzibar. In Zanzibar, in Africa, right somewhere on the coastal line. That's where this place is located, right? So here we go. We're breaking it down. And this property was 21 square meters. So that's what it is. Three square meters out there. The balcony, you got your bed right there. And this is the studio. So that we pay for a studio, correction. When I was saying apartment, we pay for a studio. Now you got your apartment. If you say you could do a little bit more, then you can move up to basically $38,000. So $38,000. And you break it down the same way, right? $2,000 on reservation. Then the next $20,000 on the sign of the sales agreement. You, they give you time. They draft that up. And then the next 20% at the beginning of the construction. Then the next 20% six months later. Then the next 20% 12 months from that original date of the construction, the beginning of the construction period. And upon completion, another 20%. 
So that's basically breaking down that. And you can break it down for every price and get the numbers that you need. And bing, bing, I'm going to put them right there up on the screen, making it more easy for you. So that's the prices, you know. We wanted to get in and see the prices because people wanted to know that, right? They wanted to say what that looked like, you know. How much am I paying? How much is it going to cost me? I'm just trying to make sure that I'm not paying tons of money. So let's go to the Fuma town and we'll actually go to what this whole deal is and what they're going to be doing. So they're creating a, a city that's going to be in Zanzibar. And this is the first time that investors are allowed to invest in property and own properties via sublease. So a lot of places in Africa, you are subleasing the land or the house and you don't get a freehold title, what we're used to in America, and you get this lease for 99 years or 50, depending on where you're at. But this one specifically, it's for 99 or 33, but it's all renewable up to 99 years. And you know when it comes down to renewing it after 99 years or the 33 years, then it just gets renewed. You pay a little taxes and then bam, it's renewed. It's nothing outlandish and you don't have to worry about losing your property. So we're renting in this company also has a way to actually rent these out. I don't want to stay too long.